on a personal note, he connected with me because we had conversations about diversity, inclusion, moving forward, making a difference. These were some of the things that in his leadership role that he primed and groomed me for. I owe him a lot of gratitude and thanks for the mentorship, for me being a vice president and also the first African-American vice president um, female at this university. Without his leadership, his guidance, and his mentor, I probably would not even be sitting here before you today speaking on his behalf. So when I reflect on my interaction and my conversations with Dr. Bardo, I can't help but think of a VIP. Think of him as a visionary, an influencer with passion. Whether he's talking to the leaders, the mayor of the city, other leaders in the city, or just a community child running around on campus, he was always passionate about what he did. In the end, whether you agreed with John or didn't agree with John, the one thing you knew was he had a genuine affection for Wichita State University and for the Wichita community as a whole. I would say that beyond Dr. Bardo's visionary leadership was his extreme confidence in people, in the alumni, the students of Wichita State, and the community of Wichita to capitalize on the potential, uh, once he has shown it to them, of the economic and social advancement available. Dr. Bardo opened the door to the great shocker era it's a great day to be a shocker. I think Dr. Bardo enhanced our vision looking outwards. We were always connected to the university, the university was always connected to the community, but I think that he took it to the next level. He helped us to look at public-private private partnerships in a different way with the Innovation Campus and connected us in a different way as a, a driver of the economic growth for the state as well as connected us to the I-35 corridor. So we were always, I think, looking out but he really extended that reach and, and made us think of what we could be in a different way. When I think of President Bardo, one of the first things I think of is his leadership style. The way I would describe it, it, it was very focused. He had a vision of what he wanted Wichita State to become while he was here, 
And despite all the other forces working around him, he seemed to stay focused on that vision and to try and actually bring it to fruition so that WSU would transform into what he wanted it to be going into the 21st century. One day in his office, we were kind of flipping through some magazines, looking at some things, and I was telling him, just pointing out different stuff that, you know, places that I wanted to go and travel to. And so he asked me had I ever been to Greece and Italy, and he named some places and stuff. So then I said, you know, yeah, I have. I said, but you probably heard of the country that I'm from. And that's where we first met. And he kind of chuckled a little bit. And I said, no, why are you laughing? He said, well, where are you from? I said, you probably heard of the country, Alabama. And he kind of laughed at it and he said, oh, really? And he said, this tops the other story that he and I had, that we was at an event and everybody was going around the room introducing each other and saying who they were, their titles and all these big things. And then when it got to my turn, I told him that my name was Marche Fleming Randall Bardo and I'm his daughter. And the whole room got dropped dead silence. Those are my two most favorite memories of Dr. John Bardo. Dr. Vardo changed things for staff by having an open-door policy. Uh, I really enjoyed our one-on-ones, especially as president of the USS Senate. Uh, he was very intelligent. He could talk about any subject, but he really showed that he cared in those meetings we had. He was really concerned and wanted to help the staff any way that he could. I believe that Dr. Bardo came in and he was a voice for us. He listened to us whenever we had questions. He was the one that listened to us more than I had seen before. And I think he brought us all together more as a community than individuals. I think the best way to honor Dr. Bardo is to continue his legacy. He was a man of vision and a man of focus on a vision that uh, certainly would be a, a detriment not only to Dr. Bardo, but to Wichita State and to Wichita and to the state of Kansas if we didn't continue his vision. John was a, uh, was a real friend of mine, uh, a, a confidant that you could ask questions to, uh, because he had, vi he had the vision. He knew where higher ed was going. Uh, and, um, and our higher education system is better today uh, than when President Bardo started in Kansas.
Not only did he have a vision, he had bold actions in mind. And he took many of those bold actions. And those are going to transform not just the university, but the whole Wichita area and the prosperity for its citizens. He liked Indian food a lot. Yeah, I mean, when we were at Kabor in Topeka, at lunchtime, I knew where to find him all the time. He was at the Indian cuisine with uh, WSU people. So I had opportunity to see him probably nine or 10 times during the year at that uh, restaurant. I believe he felt that we had the power to make a positive influence in the community and, and I think the way he defined community was much broader than Wichita State and the city of Wichita, I think it, it went even beyond the state of Kansas. But I think he believed with passion about the, the power of the people to really make a difference. <laughs>